quick revision video on strong acids. So we'll start with some essentials. Strong acids fully dissociate or ionize in solution, donating an H plus ion or ions. So we'll look at monobasic acids first. So they donate one mole of H plus ions per mole of acid. So that equation there represents a monobasic acid such as HCl. Because of the ratio in that equation, the concentration of H plus ions is the same as the concentration of the acid. Dibasic acids, so something like sulfuric acid, H2SO4, we can represent them like that. And so the H plus concentration will be twice that of the acid. To calculate the pH, we need to know the H plus ion concentration and we minus log that. And the opposite of that, if we're given the pH and we need to find the H plus concentration, it's 10 to the minus pH. We'll finish with this. The greater the H plus concentration, obviously the stronger the acid, but conversely, that would equate to a smaller pH. So I've got a couple of calculations, but they're deliberately not as straightforward as some. So the first one is this one. We've got to calculate the pH of the solution formed when we put 100 cm cubed of water into 50 cm cubed of that concentration nitric acid. So the first thing we need to do is work out how many moles of nitric acid we've got. So that's concentration times volume, 5 times 10 to the minus 3. Because it's monobasic, the moles of H plus is going to be the same. But remember, pH is the minus log of the H plus concentration. So we need to find the concentration of H plus. So we take the moles and divide by the volume. And the combined volume of the final solution is going to be 150 cm cubed. So we've got an H plus concentration of that. Now we can minus log and we get a pH to two decimal places of 1.48. So the final calculation is a combination of a strong acid and a strong alkali and we've got to find the pH of the solution that's left over. So we'll start with the equation and we'll work out the moles of the acid and the alkali that we've got to start with. So that's two lots of concentration times volume calculations. So there's the moles of the acid and the alkali. And you can see that the HNO3 is in excess. So we need to work out how much is left. So the moles of H plus remaining is the difference. So 5 times 10 to the minus 4. And because it's monobasic, that's going to be the moles of H plus as well. Remember, we need the concentration of H plus. So we divide that by the total volume that they're in. So we've got 50 cm cubes in total, 20 plus 30. So we've got an H plus concentration of 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. Now we can minus log and we get 2.00 to two decimal places.